Hey comic book community, Lombok's Love Affair here. I am about to go and be picked up by a friend of mine and he has a storage unit full of 45 long boxes. So uh, I don't know what I'm getting into. Um, he is looking to uh, potentially get rid of all of these um, and either give them to me or give me an option to sell uh, the books. So. Um, I might try to take some video. Uh, let's see what I find. Hopefully it's not all cross-gen. All right, talk to you soon. Right, 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 right. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm back. And uh, it's been a couple days. I had to kind of recuperate. I only got through maybe 10 boxes of those 45 boxes uh, that were in storage. Um, I, p I brought two boxes home with me. Um, of those, I pulled some books that I'm really excited about, and I'm going to show you those individually, and then I'll take you on a walkthrough of what I pulled. Um, this is going to be a longer project um, than I think either of us anticipated, so uh, it just shows that um, when you have friends that may or may not be into the things that you're into, like comic books, it doesn't hurt to talk about your hobbies. Uh, so uh, he's been talking about this for years. Uh, where he said, oh, I should just have you come in or help me organize my, my storage unit. He pays 70 to $100 a month probably in storage. Um, I can relate. I also have a storage unit, but he has way more comic books than um, I do. Uh, so we went through the boxes that I could uh, in the time that we had, and there'll be another several rounds of where I go back and forth with him. Uh, and so I'm, I told him I would help him sell the collection. Um, I get a little perk from that, and I also get uh, uh, some first choice of books, um, although I'm not keeping a massive amount of these books. I'm going to help him sell these books uh, and, and put them out there um, and help him get rid of his storage unit. Um, and then, you know, hopefully get back to some of the community. So uh, let me show you some of the things that I'm excited about. He stopped collecting around the time the New 52 happened. So that was roughly, what, seven years ago, maybe more. Um, so it, it, he doesn't have anything recent. He reads digitally now. But all the books, all 45 boxes, he said he read all those books. He's been collecting for years, just like me. And a lot of the stuff he loves is right in my sweet spot. Um, although he does collect a lot more DC than, than I do, so there's a lot of DC comic books in there. Um, now, we really focus mostly on the Marvel stuff. There are plenty more boxes to be had for Marvel, but um, we just focused on the ones that were ob obtainable in that unit. So I can't wait to see what else is in there. But if this is uh, any indication, um, it's going to be quite exciting. So let's take a look at the ones I'm really excited about. So it's funny, right off the bat when I was looking, I, I saw Noble Causes in there. And Noble Causes is an, an image comic that uh, not a lot of people picked up, I don't think. Um, and I told him, I was like, oh, I've been looking for this one book that has Invincible on the cover. It's a variant cover. Um, and sometimes people didn't get the variant covers. They got the cover A, not the cover B, uh, especially when you weren't really thinking about it. And what did I find? A minty copy of cover B of issue number 3B. It's Noble, C Mobile, Noble Causes Family Secrets. Uh, and it's notable because it has a bunch of image characters on the cover, including um, Invincible, an early of an Invincible appearance, maybe his first cover appearance. I, I'm not quite sure about the validity of that statement, but it's definitely before the Invincible series. Also was excited about this book, Amazing Spider-Man 110, or I'm sorry, 101. Um, this is uh, a reprint from the 90s, probably 1992, 93, um, 92. It's the second print of uh, Morbius. This book uh, is on, on eBay for 10 to 20 bucks. Did not want to pay that. So it's it's nice to see that in, this, in the stash. Uh, I found another copy of Spider-Man 101, 105. Um, or I'm sorry, What If? Uh, starring Spider-Man, the first appearance of Mayday Parker uh, as Spider-Girl? Spider-Girl, I believe they call her. So um, I, I recently found my first copy not too long ago, so I was really excited to see that in the collection. I believe this is a variant cover, but maybe it's just a homage cover. Uh, Hulk 441, the Pulp Fiction cover with She-Hulk on it. Black Panther 23. Now, he had a full run of the Priest 
uh, run of, of Black Panther. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know about these books. Um, I just never paid attention. I don't think I was really um, collecting at the time when, the, when these came out, or at least not collecting widely. Of course, every collection has um, Uncanny X-Men Annual 14, the first appearance or cameo appearance of Bishop. Um, so that's cool to have. This one I might have to get slabbed. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 36, first, um, not first of anything, but uh, it's the black cover for the World Trade Center um, commemorative issue for 9-11. Um, this looks like a 9-8. Uh, it feels like a 9-8. Uh, those in 9-8 are super hard to find, so I'm excited that's in great condition, especially because a lot of the books in the collection varied in condition. Not all were bagged, uh, so... Uh, but then you have books like this, Alias Number 1, uh, Bagged, Minty, uh, probably also a 9-8, so that's another one I'll probably get uh, slabbed. Uh, and then he also had uh, two, three, four, and five of Alias. I'm sure he has the whole set. They were not all organized, so uh, I need to go through all the boxes to see if I can put a set together. Uh, of course, New Mutants 98. We're all children of the 90s. First appearance of Deadpool, Gideon, and Copycat, otherwise known as Domino in this issue. Um, not a 9-8, but uh, definitely a 9-something or maybe a high 8. Uh, it could use a press, so excited to have that. J. Scott Campbell, Amazing Spider-Man 52. It's a cool run of Amazing Spider-Man 315. 316, it definitely has some wear on it. It's not bagged. 344, first Cletus Cassidy, who turns into Carnage. That's pretty decent condition. 345, uh, second uh, Cletus. 333. This was my first issue I ever had as a, a, a Venom. It was pretty cool to see that in there. 331. A lot of newsstands, which is great. 330. 333. Got 359, which does have Cletus Cassidy in it. Not sure if it gets all the accolades as, as um, the first appearance of Carnage, but it's good to see that. Some nice newsstands of 363. And 362. I did not find a 361. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not there. I just didn't find it. Um, 351, the first Mark Bagley art on Spider-Man. Love this cover. 346, Eric Larson Venom. 347. I uh, thought this was pretty cool. Amazing Spider-Man Skating on Thin Ice, Todd McFarlane cover. Got the clone, 318. They also have the next issue, which is the Venom cover, but that's a cool one. Uh, 347, another copy, newsstand. Of course, Ultimate Fallout, number four. The Hulk, the end issue. I remember buying this when I went to a comic shop right after college. It, was, it had just come out. Um, I hadn't been collecting in a while. Uh, got the first appearance of Phantom X. Those are pretty decent condition. I need to scope those out. Not sure what printing this is, but I pulled it just because I know that uh, this one does seem to go for a little bit of money. The Pro, Garth Ennis. I was really surprised he had this book, 30 Days of Night. I remember paying a lot of money for this back in the day, um, and that's definitely slab worthy. Uh, this is all a little beat up, but uh, West Coast Avengers number four, first appearance of Master Pandemonium. There was some uh, rumor about him being in... I guess it's WandaVision, maybe? Or maybe the Doctor Strange book or movie. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 385, or 285, newsstand. 286, Jim Lee cover, newsstand. I pulled this just because I thought about looking at reading this first issue, Contest of Champions, number one, and then number three. It's pretty beat up. Second, um, newsstand of Warlock and the Affinity Watch, number two, the first Infinity Watch. I love this cover. I love this issue. Uh, I'm not an Aquaman collector, but I do love Aquaman Zero. Uh, it's part of the Zero Hour storyline when he got his hook hand. 
I pick this book up anytime I find it. Cable 75. It's got awesome splash pages by Rob Liefeld. I know, I know. Um, I didn't find the first Echo, but I did find Daredevil 10, 11, and 12. Uh, so I'm sure the first Echo is somewhere in there. Uh, and then also a little bit just for me, the Marvel Tales 267 black costume. Uh, just a WTF moment. Uh, a, a Marvel team up with Aunt May as uh, Galactus Herald. Um, Spider-Man 18 newsstand, just because I love newsstands. Marvel Tales uh, really beat up uh, a reprint of Amazing Fantasy 15. Uh, so, so those are the issues that really were exciting to me, but I'm gonna take you through the, the box pretty quickly uh, as, as fast as possible and, and show off some of the runs and, and other sets I've compiled just from two boxes worth of hunting. Um, and then I'm hoping to go back in the next couple weeks. I'll probably end up uh, trying to sell these. So if you see anything you like, let me know. Uh, shoot me a message in the comments uh, and uh, I'm happy to, to work on some deals to, to help move these books so that I can get the next batch here and, and do the same. So this will be an ongoing project, um, ongoing video series, I'm sure. So super excited to find this collection. I hope you enjoy what you see here. Thanks for watching. Okay, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna kind of go through a little bit of what's in this box. This one's on the hot hot list this week. The boys, got some boys going on. Some butcher action. It's a crazy cover. Simpsons, Battle of the Planets. I feel like this one might be worth something, but I don't know. Some noble causes in addition to the one I showed. Astro City, some early Savage Dragon, the uncensored version, some Batgirl Detective Comics, or Batwoman, I should say. Awesome covers there. Just love that uh, J.H. Williams stuff. Animated series, King Shark again, when it rains it pours with that character, Batman Incorporated. There's got to be a whole series of Flashpoint in there somewhere. Again, 45 boxes. It's hard to really dig in. Death of, of uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man. I love this cover. Okay. Let's see here. That's the final issue. This is the Avengers vs. New Ultimates. Got some Ultimatum. The manga set here. That's some really great sets. This one was hot for a minute. I wonder if it still is. Gotta do some research on these. This is a cool book, but it's got a lot of wear. Black Knight. This one was being speculated on for a while. Final issue of She-Hulk. First time he's called War Machine. Got some Thor. Is this a Time Variance Authority? Books. Spirits of Venom. People are talking about Vengeance, finally. Love that character. Future Ghost Rider, not Cosmic Ghost Rider. Some West Coast Avengers miniseries. Young Avengers. Demon Hulk. Punisher. Some really great books here. Mike Zek covers. Masters of the Universe, Spider-Man, McFarlane. This was my favorite cover for a long time. I had it like on an easel as a kid. Got some Wolverine. It's kind of a crime thriller storyline in that those five or so issues. Last Todd McFarlane. Thanos, Sinister Six, we got Venom, a couple Venoms, not a lot of Venom, at least not yet. A couple Lethal Protectors, I didn't realize there was two. Some Maxim Web of Carnage. This will be good for the uh, Null storyline. There's that Web of Spider-Man 119. I just bought this book recently. Spider-Man. It's crazy that this book got hot because of the character Corona. But 
he has it before it was trendy. Virus, when people thought Virus' first appearance was in that. We got some Fearful Symmetry storyline with the death of uh, Craven. All of them except, gosh, one of them were missing. Ironically, he had like a, he had that in like a Spanish version. What if the marriage, Guards of Galaxy, kept the arms, Good Marvel Age to have. First Sleepwalker uh, preview. Infinity Gauntlet, all of them except number one. Although, again, it's there somewhere. Marvel Saga. Everyone's into Galactus these days. Todd McFarlane, Spidey. New Warriors. Deadpool. He had this, but oh, it's so beat up. So beat up. I'm sure there's a whole set somewhere. Again, these are how I found them. All right, more X-Force. Pretty decent condition, fine, very fine. This one's a little beat up, unfortunately. Uh, X-Force uncensored, I think. Halo Kids, no codes. First time I've noticed that. Uh, 16, 18, 19. Like Alred uh, finished out the run. Got some uncanny. Second appearance of Bishop. Second print, I should say, of Bishop. And this is the first, second appearance of Bishop. First full appearance, I guess you could say. Sylvester Jim Lee run. Miss Marvel and Rogue battle it out. For Shatterstar and Cami or in a pinup, this is how this was. We'll, we'll get that flattened out. Second appearance of Cable. Got some new mutants. Have some uh, Onslaught. First appearance of Onslaught and X Man. A full run of Origin. The Origin of Wolverine. Maybe I'll reread that while I'm at it. X Men. One. Two. Where's two? Oh, it's out of order. Two, three, four. Not excellent condition, but it's a new stand, so that's pretty cool. Five, six. So the whole Jim Lee run here. All right, and then we got uh, E for Extinction. Uh, Negasonic of Warhead. You already saw the Phantom X books. This had to be right towards the end of his collecting, right before the new 52. Love this cover with dust. Oh, and the first Zorn. So that was box one into box two. Whew. It's box two, Spider-Man 2099. Some issues, some later issues, including we've got some Venom 2099. This is part one of the cover. I think he goes all the way to the end of the run, which has lower print run 45, 46 is the last issue. Got some beat up Spider-Man issues, pre 300. I wonder if he has 300. That would be fun. Uh, some Eric Larson. Sinister Six. Which, I might read this again. I loved that as a kid. That's when I started collecting. Return of the Sinister Six. Got to save our Spideys. It's almost like you're hunting with me. Mark Bagley, goodness. Before and after Carnage. When they're unbagged, you just gotta be so, so careful. Got a Venom backup tail before he got his own series, I guess. This is right before Lethal uh, Avenger. Got some J. Michael Straczynski, J. Scott Campbell covers. I remember buying this at the newsstand. I still have that. These are in great shape, these Spideys. Joe Romita covers. Romita did the interiors, and he had a great colorist for this. It looked really stunning. 
I know he has his critics. We got a bunch. We got the full Scarlet Witch and Vision mini series. It's a cool cover. And then the twelve issue series we got a full one. Not, not um, excellent condition, but decent condition. Spidey's in that with the black costume. And then there's this issue, which is decent. A uh, bunch of G.I. Joe, Transformer, the whole set there. Headmasters, Transformers, the whole set here. I don't collect Transformers, so. Uh, Transformers the movie. Transformer universe. And... Transformers. This issue has, uh, actually it's in there. Number two is behind it. Number three, these are low to mid grade. Got some Dinobots. Not a full set that I can find. Again, might be more of them in storage. I'm sure there are since I only dealt with 15 or so percent of the boxes. People tend to collect those border covers. Okay, jeez. I don't know anything about these, but people are interested in them. I used to love Transformers as a kid, but Got out of that and you just turn into a superhero person. Let's see. Okay. Getting there. Almost done with the Transformers. More than meets the eye for sure. Jim Lee did some older covers of these. I don't think any of these are. That might be. And then we got some Black Panther. Not number one. I couldn't find number one, but I'm sure somewhere around there. First White Wolf, not Bucky. Um, I think this is the first um, Okoye, on the cover at least. Got some Craven. These are all as a set. Again, this is a run I didn't know anything about. Hulk in there. Killmonger. This was a cool cover. Got some Killmonger. Moon Knight in there. At one point he changes his costume and it looks crazy. Like a gunslinger. You never know in Black Panther to be a gunslinger. That's a cool cover. movie not too long ago. Oh, there's just so many black out there. 44, 45, cool cover. This is a cool cover. I love this cover. 50. But look at that. It doesn't even look like Black Panther. Looks like a Qbert cover. This must not have been popular. I don't think he stayed around as a gun toting character for too long. I can't quite like him. That's cool. Never seen these before. Uh, Thunderbolts. A bunch of Thunderbolts. First Jolt. This run seems to be getting some interest, especially given the speculation around the market. Zercher covers. Bagley did some of the artwork, I believe, and then Zercher took it over for a long time. Songbird, enough said, from the early 2000s. 
this room felt like they sticked around or stuck around for a long time. Hawkeye joined. We got some spawn too coming up. That's a cool one. Blow it all up. 75. And the annual. Alright, and got some spawn to finish it up. So we got Angela. A full run of that. Violator 1 and 2. Got spawn most of the early issues. And some newsstands in there. Kid. Angela, of course. Don't know why that's not bagged. It will be. <laughs> I had some cool Todd McFarlane and Greg Capullo took over. And really defined his style, I think, with this run. Much better. <laughs> Much better than uh, uh, what he did with X-Force before. Silvestri did the artwork in that issue. Character Redeemer newsstand. It's pretty cool. Different quality paper for sure. The Freak. Cygor. Santa Spawn. <laughs> Don't think they'll be bringing back Santa Spawn. Alright, almost done. 49. 50 is a newsstand, which is awesome. I love this cover, and I love this cover with Savage Dragon, and 53. That's it for what I pulled. Is that not enough? <laughs> There's 43 more boxes where that came from. So uh, this is going to be sort of like a video diary slash appeal if you want any of these books. <laughs> uh, if any of these are interesting to you, let me know. Um, most of these I'll probably end up having to put on for sale. Uh, so happy to um, make some deals with the comic book community here. So so hit me up uh, in the comments and we'll go from there. And if anything, I hope you enjoyed this view into the collection I found. So as always, uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and uh, like the video. Or if you're one of two people that always thumbs down me, then go ahead, thumbs down. Uh, but that's not the idea, right? Uh, and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. All right, take care. Bye-bye.